Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 10 Pokemon TCG Booster Packs. Now I am very excited to get these 10 Booster Packs opened up. The two sets in this video will be Dragon Majesty and Shining Legends. Five Booster Packs of each special expansion set. Now I know for sure that I will not be shut out from these packs, just because each pack does include at least a rare hollow. I did pull these packs from Steel Pokemon TCG products that I purchased from Troll and Toad. I believe I pulled 5 of the Dragon Majesty Booster Packs from an Elite Trainer Box, and then I pulled the Shining Legends Packs from the Zoroark GX Box. Really wanted to get another Zoroark GX Full Art into my collection, plus that card is very competitive. So here's a look at all 10 packs. I'll go every other with the packs rotating between the two sets. In the Dragon Majesty Elite Trainer box that I opened up on my channel, had pretty exceptional pulls. Still on the hunt for that gold colored Ultra Crossman GX Full Art from a pack. Start off with Shining Legends here. Would love to pull a Shining card or one of the GX Rainbow Rares. The first pack here starts with Shroomish, Minin, Quillfish, Zorua, Plusle. Fighting type energy, switch, how, damage mover, reverse solo of a lily, a very useful supporter card, which isn't uncommon, and the final card would be a Verizian. And I will not be summarizing the rare hollow cards that I pull, just because you are guaranteed one in each and every pack. Charizard on the first Dragon Majesty booster pack. There is a Charizard rare hollow in the set. Darumaka starts the first Dragon Majesty pack. Litten, Horsey, Magikarp, Swablu, Darkness type energy, Turtonator, Croconaw, Milotic, Reverse Hollow of a Blaine's Last Stand, a card that is normally a rare hollow as well as a full art, so that is a rare. And the final card would be a Gyarados. So at least one good pull to summarize that rare reverse hall of Blaine's Last Stand. Shining Mew pack now for Shining Legends. The Shining Lugia, the Black Star promo in the Super Premium Collection box has blown up in price. I actually sold a friend of mine that card for display purposes for about $5 about a month ago. Now it's worth about $40. So the second Shining Legends pack starts with Voltorb, Croconaw, Scraggy. Toracat, Plusle, Metal Type Energy, Lily, Damage Mover, Ultra Ball, Reverse Hollow of a Litten, just a common, and the final card would be a Reshiram. Lots of legendary Pokemon in both Shining Legends and Dragon Majesty. Of course, Dragon Majesty also includes lots of Dragon type Pokemon, like a Salamence. Most Elite Trainer boxes that I've seen of Dragon Majesty have three good pulls in them. So if I don't pull anything out of the five packs in this video, the other five packs should have pretty good pulls. Dratini to start the pack. Kangaskhan. Swablu. Torchic. Wooper. Fairy type energy. Fiery Flint. Dragon Talon. Combuskin. Reverse Hollow of a Fion, which isn't uncommon, and the final card would be a Kamoo. Not much to summarize so far, a little bit disappointing. All it really takes is the one pack to change the entire opening. Minin to start the pack. Stunfisk. Weasel. Scraggy. Voltorb. Darkness type energy. Volcarona. Lipart. Energy Retrieval, Reverse Solo, Vase Sophocles, which isn't uncommon, and the final card would be another Verizian. Halfway through this opening, only the one rare Reverse Solo to summarize at the end. Charmander starts the pack. Bagon, Wishy Washy, a useful card. Feebas, Corsola, Fighting Type Energy, Dragonair. Zinnia, one of the better supporter cards in this set, would love to pull it as a full art. Salazzle, 
Reverse Hollow of a fairy type energy. Really like the looks of these hollow foil energy cards. And the final card would be a Gyarados. So two packs left of each set. Hoping that each set has at least one good pull out of the final two packs. I have completed Shining Legends already. But I always like adding as many ultra rares and secret rares in my collection as possible. Plusle starts this pack. Toracat. Totodile, Buizel, Pikachu, Grass-type Energy, Venusaur, a good ability on this card in a Grass-type deck, Switch, Carnivine, Reverse Hollow of a Purloin, just a common, and the final card here would be a Shining Genesect. So there we go, first very good pull of the opening, Shining Genesect. These are about 1 in 12 packs. Of course, they are throwbacks to the Shining cards from the Neo series of sets. Dragonite on the Dragon Majesty pack. I did just pull the first five packs directly from the Dragon Majesty Elite Trainer box. Didn't mix and match. Pulling some from the front and some from the back or anything. Horsey starts this pack. Trap Inch. Swablu. Salandit. Litten. Grass type Energy. Flygon, Turtonator, Croconaw, Reverse Hollow of a Torchic, just a common. And the final card would be a Feraligator. And Feraligator is actually my second favorite Pokemon of all time, right behind Charizard. Final Shining Legends pack now. And if I don't pull anything out of these final two packs, it would be a very disappointing opening overall. But at least I wasn't shut out as far as cards other than the rare Hollows. Ekans to start the final Shining Legends pack. Zorua, Buizel, Plusle, Toracat, Fairy Type Energy, Sophocles, Double Colorless Energy, a very good special energy card, Spiritomb, Reverse Solo of a Buizel, just a common, and the final card would be an Eveltel. So not much from the Shining Legends packs, just the one Shining card which isn't too bad, on to the final Dragon Majesty booster pack. 0 for 4 so far. Can't really tell if you'll get something good from the code since all the code cards are white in color. The final pack in this opening starts with Salandit, Swablu, Trapinch, Dratini, Horsey, Grass-type Energy, Dragon Talon, Combuskin, Flygon, Reverse Hollow of a Litten, just a common, and the final card would be a Blaine's Last Stand. So outside of getting a Rare Hollow in each and every pack, except for one, not very good pulls overall at all. Which was a surprise to me going into this opening, I thought I'd do very well. So just two good cards to summarize, the Rare Reverse Hollow of Blaine's Last Stand, and the easily the best pull of the opening, the Shining Genesect. So what I may do is I may just do a five booster pack opening of Dragon Majesty, hoping for some pretty good pulls. But there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.